internal developments in Pakistan also are taking a very important turn at this stage. It is in fact a stage which has now been set up for a showdown between supporters of Tahirul Qadri and the Pakistani government. A large number of people have turned up again in the morning at D-Square in Islamabad near the parliament. Now, Qadri is slated to deliver a speech in any moment now. In fact, we were scheduled at around 11 a.m. Pakistan time. But unlike yesterday, today protesters are carrying wooden sticks in their hands and they are demanding that Qadri move towards parliament building as well. This is a point, in fact, that Hamza had raised as well, that there were elements trying to get involved in this mob, trying to incite the crowd into violence. Protesters want Qadri it is understood to topple the ruling government and bring a revolution in Pakistan. Uh, Hamza, just bring us up to speed first up with developments as they're playing out today in, in Islamabad. Uh, what's really happening on the streets? Uh, well, see, since last night, uh, after especially the, the emergency speech that was given by Mr. Bairul Qadri, who was in a second in front of the parliament with thousands of people, and he told them that, you know, there, there might be an attempt by the security forces to in, uh, provoke them and to, uh, you know, entice them to have to enter into a clash will be done. And he actually called on the people to stay peaceful and calm. But um, the fact remains that, you know, it's been it's the third day going when people are out on the streets and sleeping in the cold weather. And they are actually looking forward to no results coming forward. I think this time around, the anger amongst the people is increasing with time. The patience level is going down. Hmm. And because today, everyone's looking forward to the speech that's going to come out of Mr. Kadri. Hmm. If that speech actually inflames the sentiments of the people to move forward, hmm. then it might be a very difficult situation in Islamabad because already uh, we see thousands of people on one side of the container and on the other side, security has been beefed up, water tanks have been put in place, tear gas equipment have been brought in. Special security forces have also been applied and deployed in the morning as well okay. outside the parliament side. So I think this time around we're looking at a very difficult and a very complex situation in which if something, a, a strong statement comes from Mr. Kadri and that inflames the people, then it will be very difficult and very far, very possible that, you know, people might start marching towards the parliament. And if that happens, then we might see, you know, a, a very major and a very huge clash between the, the ruling government and security forces and the, and the people who are in thousands in numbers. Tahirul Qadri made that point yesterday as well, that he controls the emotions of these people and he is the one who has asked them to remain democratic, remain peaceful. But if he were to ask them to go and occupy, well, the major buildings and the major offices in Pakistan, that can happen as well. He's scheduled to address the people, the crowd there, his supporters. In a few minutes from now, Hamza will continue tracking developments. We'll cut across live as well to that. For the moment, Hamza, thanks very much for joining us. But a major political crisis is brewing. It's, there's no denying this in Pakistan. While on the one hand, the firebrand Islamic cleric Tahirul Qadri has refused to call off his revolutionary protests aimed at overthrowing the country's government. On the other, Pakistan's Supreme Court has ordered the arrest of Prime Minister Raja Purvez Ashraf in the rental power case. So in the next 24 hours, well, in fact, the minutes from now on as well, from this point, they remain crucial for both the President Asif Ali Zardari and the Prime Minister Raja Purvez Ashraf.